Good y'all, John here. You know I'm gonna jump straight into it. Now, we've been leveraging AI in quite a few ways from mid-journey to create images and content, from chat GPT to leverage copy and come up with concepts and ideas in our branding process. We've been pulling a lot of this into our agency to help expedite the process and help definitively change the game as a whole. So I'm jumping into Framer, which is a website builder to show you how you can generate a website in seconds. Now, I'm going to let y'all be the judge in how this thing works and how I process the info. I'm also going to leverage ChatGPT to make a prompt, which I'll provide you in the description so you can test this out yourself and go ahead and dive in. So here's the main landing page for Framer. As you can see, you can generate and publish your site within seconds. It's AI generated and human curated. So it takes you from a raw idea to a real page in seconds and you can tweak what you don't like in regards to copy, text and more. So check out this platform when you can. These are some of the pages that were generated and let's dive in and do it together. So first things first, when you sign up, it takes you to a page that looks like this. I'm going to go ahead and delete this one because I want to go ahead and show y'all what we're doing here. And so I'm just going to hit new. Or I can start with AI and just start straight into the nitty gritty. So here it gives me a blank canvas. As you can see here, I can see everything here. I'm actually going to show you from the get go what this looks like. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to hit back and then I'm going to go ahead and hit new. Once I hit new, it's going to give me this prompt start with AI. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a prompt for this. So I'm actually going to go to chat GPT. And I'm going to say, oh, let me zoom in here. Let's create a prompt for a website AI tool. We want to create, to generate a beautiful one page website for our production, our video game production company called glowing cheetah studios. The design should be simple, clean, and have an emphasis on imagery and video. Please provide a prompt that's concise that we can give to the AI. All right. So that's it. I'm going to hit enter. I'm using chat GPT four. Of course, you know, they have two versions. You can check out some of my other videos on details regarding that, but chat GPT four is going to give you the most concise information. I push enter and now it's going to create a prompt for me. So I'm going to leverage this prompt in framer to provide and create a website just because it's going to word this better and provide me more cohesion here. So you can see here, it says design a one page website for a video game company named glowing cheetah studios. The aesthetic should reflect a simple and clean layout with a strong emphasis on high quality imagery and video content. The color scheme should be cohesive with the company's branding, giving it a modern and engaging appeal elements to include. We'll leave that out for now and just put this intro here. I will go ahead and drop this into the platform. So there we go. And we're going to hit start. Now you're going to see in real time, this AI generate a page for my website. So as you can see, I've got a header here or H1, most likely it'll become glowing cheetah studios. You got GCS. Welcome to glowing cheetah studios where we bring your wildest gaming dreams to life. So as you can see the AI leverages and creates the copy as well. Um, I'm, I'm not really sure where this is going, but I like this, this image and the way that we have like this almost like bento box design that looks kind of cool. And it's creating a navigation here in real time as well. I'm not sure what this is, but potentially could be an H1. Our incredible games. Now it's talking about the games a bit. I can zoom out here. So we see this a little bit better. Here we go. As you can see, it provides three versions, desktop, tablet, and mobile as well, which I thought was pretty cool. Okay, it's still going. And as you can see, while it's doing this in real time, I can change the color palette. So I can change it to this. I can change it to this. I can change it to this. I mean, this isn't terrible. It's not bad. The, the architecture is, is pretty good. They've got some features here. They've got a beautiful header. Um, I would probably say you could replace this with a logo or some type of image or iconography that would work well. As you can see, it's still working. I kind of like this purple, black, and white color palette. So 
as you all can see, it's creating this in real time, which I thought was, was really cool. Again, it's not something that you can take and use ultimately, but you can leverage this as a starting point, right? To get some ideas and concepts out into the world based on the topical data that this is pulling in. Now I'm gonna hit not now in regards to publishing and boom, the page is ready for review. So as you can see, we've got the page built in here. I'm gonna zoom in. We've got our header and our main section, our nav. Right here, this is probably going to be the logo, I would assume. And then of course, you've got a quick intro. You've got some imagery here that we could replace with images that we want. Our incredible games and some features here, um, a call to action call out, and then a quick content here. And then of course, the footer. So as you can see, I mean, this isn't terrible. <laughs> Definitely need some work. Listen, we're still safe from annihilation uh, for a little bit at least, y'all. So no worries there. But some of the things I really like here is editing the content. So I'm going to hit desktop and then I can change the breakpoints and I can edit this in Figma in real time, um, which I thought was really cool. I can also add different breakpoints. I can change the color. I can change the content here. But ultimately, you can see that this is a great way to really get started in your process. You can see the settings here also. And I have desktop, tablet, and mobile. And it changes it across the board. So again, really cool tool to test out. You can start to integrate your CRM, start to test some tools. So test it out. Let me know your thoughts. Post your links below in the description so I can see some of your websites. And I'm going to continue to give you updates and things going on in this industry on a weekly basis. So stay tuned.